I want to dedicate this show to Margaret, Barnaby, Matt, Finley, who passed away three weeks ago. We called her Makali. Being around Makali gave one a good sense of being Skali or being Indian. Her wisdom, knowledge, and her humor, her willingness to help teach was outstanding. Also, her compassion and caring for others was a big help to many of us. Her passing away was a big loss to us as a people. So to, um, we just uh, can't express how deeply this affected us in our work and our everyday lives. So we'll go on with our lessons. She would want us to go on and do the best we can for for ourselves, for our people, and in teaching, especially. Okay. So, with that, this month is the month of February is called Chikoskin Spkanis. That means the time when it used to be a long time ago that it was so cold at this time of the year that if you went out in that cold, your hair would freeze. And Yesterday was Monday. Yet hua ud let la sudla. Yet hua ud let la sudla. Today is Tuesday. Nechali. Amal Chahla Nechali Amal Chahla Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Chikoskin Spkanis, the month of February. Spisce Ud Chwe, yesterday was Monday. Yet Chwa Ud Lasila, today is Tuesday. Nechali Amurchatla. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Etlam Tlu Smekut Uyet Jatse Wetlam Hope Das Quest Let's Chwe Uich Imts Hamip Wethoi Lu Kukwe In which it shows him up or hits art. Yell squacks or hits art. We could lead yet to the snow that we had in January melted. We had kind of nice weather until Sunday. It snowed again, but it didn't get very deep. 
then on Monday, we had fog. When the fog lasted until nighttime and it went away. And then it got cold. This morning it was very cold. And now the sun is shining. <clears throat> kind of weird weather, but some of it is pretty cool. And now I want to go over some of the winter wear. The winter wear that uh, we use when it's cold out. <clears throat> One of the things is, I don't know if that'll stay up there like that. Nope. Well, anyway, we'll do it like this. Gloves. Spetched. Spetched. That's one glove. Both of them. Spetched. Spetched. And your knit hat. Sinsotkin. <laughs> Sinsotkin. It's called Sinsotkin because it's stretchy. Sinsotkin. Sotilks. Sotilks. It's a sweater. Sotilks. And it's called that also because it's stretchy. <coughs> Most recently, jackets. El capu. El capu. That comes from a French word meaning coat. But way back when, uh, they were called skeltcha. Skeltcha. That's an older word. Of course, we didn't have jackets uh, exactly like this, made like this. <coughs> and. Here are those words written for a jacket or a coat. El capu. El capu. And then the older word for the outer covering or your coat. Sotilks. Sotilks. That's your sweater. Sinsotkin. Sinsotkin. That's your knit hat. And then one glove is spetched. Spetched. Both glove, both gloves. You say spetched, spetched. Okay, let's say them again. El capu for your coat. Spetcha is the older word for that. El capu spetcha. Sotilks, that's your sweater. Sotilks, sin sotakin, sin sotakin, that's the knit hat. Spetched, one glove. Spetched, spetched, both gloves or more than one glove. Spitch-betched. 
Okay. Let's take a little break now for while I prepare for the next part. Native Americans cherish their bodies. Good athletes take good care of themselves on the field and in the gym. But what about after the game or the workout? Do you know how to protect yourself from STDs and AIDS? This is real life. It has real consequences. Remember, we're still in uh, the winter time. It's east. -ch. It's east. -ch. And we were all uh, talking about the warming of the of the land. Esquets me. Esquets me. The land is warming up. Esquets me stulich. It's warmer. Ikkoets. Ikkoets. Then when it's cold, like it should be this time of the year, it's alt. And when it's in the deep cold, which we haven't had yet, Ichumusum. Ichumusum. It's east. It's east. That's the winter. It's quite to me. Es me Stulich. The land is warming up. Es me Stulich. Ich It's warm. Ich It's alt. It's alt. It's how it was. Many years ago, this time of the year. Ichumusum, that's the deep cold, the below zero weather, which we hardly ever have. Ichumusum. Okay. That's just review from the last time. And then this is just uh, to tell you about uh, the different ways you can use chin and ke. Probably the more advanced people will want to know this. We all know chest is good. Chest. And in Tumsum is smile. Che is uh, same as good, just a little bit different, and I'll explain. Okay, when you say ask someone, Kotschen, how are you? You might answer with Chin Che, which means I'm fine. Or I'm good. Chin he. When you say chin hest, it can mean I'm nice. I'm nice. Chin hest. But I guess. However you say it, whatever is in your conversation, it can also mean I'm fine also. 
Chin in Tumsum Chin in Tumsum I smiled Chin in Tumsum I smiled So we have three different ways to describe how you feel describe how what kind of a person you are and something in, that you already did the past tense chin he chin hest chin in tumsum And then we go with you. You are fine. You are good. Meaning you are a good person, a nice person. Quintumsum. Quintumsum, you smiled. Okay. <clears throat> and this one is we. Khe <laughs> we are fine. We're good. We are good. We're nice. We smiled. That happened. That's in the, that's a past tense. So those chin and ke can be used at least three different ways. And I'll have to investigate a little bit more and do a little bit more research to explain exactly what those are, adverbs, adjectives, nouns, verbs. So uh, this is just a start. So let's go through those again. Somebody asks you, Quetzalcoatl, how are you? Chin he. Chin he. Chin always refers to yourself, myself. Chin he. I'm fine, I'm good. Chin hest. I'm nice, I'm good. Also meaning I'm a nice person, I'm a good person. Chin and tumsum, a little bit different. This happened already, I smiled. Chin and tumsum. So, you tell, you're telling somebody you're fine. You're doing okay. And also, you might tell another person, are you okay? Are you doing good? And then you tell the other person, especially if they did something that you liked. Well, you're very nice. You're a good person. Then when you say then you're telling someone you smiled. You smiled. If somebody asked about maybe all of your family members, you could say 
we're fine. And you might be saying of a group of you, two or more, that you're all nice, you're all good people. Kachest. Kachest. And two or more people. Kentumsum. Kentumsum. We smiled. So those are different ways you could use I, you, and we. So there'll be more to come next time on those. Um, I'm just trying to put together a little, little something for the more advanced students and trying to put some things together so they'll be able to advance even more. And I believe that's it for our show for today. I hope to make it longer next time. Just trying to get back into the swing of things after the first of the year and lemdum chpesia kumi ip chestum kechluch tue ne te piste lemdum chest